Hi, in this video I'm going to do a product review of the Philips Series 3000 ear, nose and eyebrow trimmer, right? Moving right in, just to give you an idea of what this uh, dimensions of of the package. Okay, so firstly, if you do order it, it's less than 21 by less than, yeah, because that's 10. So it's 10 by 21. Now, opening the package, there we go. So I just squeeze the back. Now I'm going to open the package. And just be careful because these guys are going to fall out. There we go. And there's the unit. And there's a little compartment here in the front, which I'm going to just grab out uh, all this uh, guarantee stuff. The instructions and how to use it. I'll go into that now. And then it does come with a carry or carry case and its own battery. So first thing is we want to see is how heavy is this thing can this thing be taken around in your trips so measuring the weight or the mass more accurately 68.1 grams okay that's without the battery so to get the battery you're going to need to just your line you see there's an arrow and an arrow and then you turn it like that so it's off on open right so let's put the battery in the positive is on this side there we go and let's put that back in now remember to align the arrows off on right so let's weigh it with the battery in so you can get an idea you're looking at 91 grams so if it is going to be in your carry-on add 91 grams uh, these fittings are very light uh, that's like two grams and the bag itself okay i think it's negligible i think it's gonna be like well, oh, five grams. Okay, so seven. add seven grams. So 91 and seven. So you're under 100 grams and you're all good to go, right? So just showing you what it would look like. You put that in there and what's nice is you will just tie it like that. And if you want to, I suppose you could actually just fasten it there. So there, that's what it looks like, right? Now, in terms of its functionality, it's got a rubberizing feel here. Well, it never mind the feel. It is rubber. There is a rubber part on this section here this is a kind of a plastic almost like a i wouldn't call it a brushed plastic but it's it's definitely not going to um show a lot of wear and tear we'll only know that after the fact and the reason why i say that is it's it's not sh it's not shiny it's got little like grain if you can have a look it's almost like looking at a grainy picture which is actually good because when you got a very shiny surface it always shows the fingerprints and all that right now this part here is shiny uh, there's the model number series 3000 there are the little uh blades which i'm sure move like this and i'd like to just check that out if you look closely you can see that there are some teeth here and now the normal hair clippers works on this cutting motion and as the hair follow uh, the hair goes between the teeth it actually cuts it now this one's a little bit different it's got the one set of teeth but they don't move but inside there's almost like think about like a train or a yeah like a, a train running through a subway like a subway train running through the tube there's actually if you look very closely there's a moving uh part you can barely you won't be able to see but so the why i'm telling you this is you can't actually hurt yourself you see even if i put it here you can see it's not cutting my skin so i would say this is is safe if i did this with a wall yeah, it's fine, but if you if you caught it, say, in somewhere like there, well, at that point, the, the, the normal hair clipper would catch you. You know, it's sometimes if the skin is too thin, and especially on delicate areas, you might actually cut the skin. So why I'm showing you this is that, let me switch this off, is a, upon inspection, it's, I would say that unless your skin could get into what would seemingly be one almost one and a half mils if it could get into one and a half mils and then yeah and then the the cutter space is also like a mill so you'd have to go down two mils you'd have to, your skin would have to be going in this direction two mils and then 
uh, the it'll still have to fit into a one mil gap so I think you're pretty safe for this guy um, obviously I'm going to use it for a week and then I'm going to refer back but so far that's my early uh, conclusion it says it's washable so I'm going to check that now what is actually washable all right so if you see this guy comes off here and uh, all you're really getting you see that guy is going to turn you can see there there it goes it's turning like that these two fittings you can only put them one way as you can see the one side is fatter than or wider than the other side so if you put it this way you can see it's it's not it's not wanting to go on so it's telling you there's a problem so you just put it on the other way and there it, it goes so there you go and this would obviously be for eyebrows and so forth right so then there's another attachment also there and you can see also like with the hair clippers you can see these are almost like this maybe is like a two and this could be like a three if you if you understand the hair clipping um uh, uh, nomenclature but there you can see what i'm trying to say the one the the the, 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 the this first one would obviously result in shorter hair while this one would result in longer hair okay so how do you use this what you would do is this is your eyebrow you'd go over it like this and as your eyebrows get stuck in there it would cut it your ears you would probably have it neat when i say neat meaning you wouldn't put these on and then obviously your nose you could just put this in your nose okay in terms of their instructions i just i just go through them with you quickly turning it on all right changing the battery we did now what you can see here is you can put it directly into your nose without any of these uh, attachments and into your ear no problem then it also says that you would normally comb your eyebrows and then you'll put the attachment on and then you'll go over it with the attachment on depending on the the whoops only goes one way depending on how uh, short you want your eyebrows and you can see how it's showing you you kind of like would comb it All right now in terms of the water now here's the restriction it's showing you that water is there so it's the tip and it also says you can put it in water for example say this was the water you can put it in only to the level you can see where they're showing it there <coughs> to this part here and they say not more than two minutes so they're saying don't leave this in water overnight or anything like that and they're saying that you can put it under running water all right i'm going to use this for a week i will then come back to you with my findings right so the report back the device works very well no that's not my pink sponge now let me go through the different mechanisms of operation now you can use it for your eyebrows right so what they recommend is you comb your eyebrow la, 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 and you switch it on and you just go like this and all it really does is it cuts the hairs that are too long so that's all Right, now, in terms of your ears, you can easily put this straight into your ear. You don't have to worry. It's not going to cut your skin. So, my advice is, you, you, the eye is the cleanest part. Eye, ear, nose. Don't go nose and then eye, just by the way. So, you can just put it into your ear. There we go. And then obviously your nose. Right, cleaning, you can put it under the tap like that, or you can actually just twist that off and, and literally wash it like so. You can take a scrubbing brush if you really want to be clean and just scrub it. Right. What I have noticed is you have to go over the um, area several times. So say you just want to cut this hair, uh, it, it got about 10%. You literally have to keep going over and over and over. So don't just do, cut once. If you're going over your eyebrow, you'll see that you'll have to do it at least probably eight to 10 times. So I don't think this is a quick, quick thing. If I try and cut these hairs, you can see over and over so how many that's 
Yeah, and it's still missing a few, but that's that's about 15 iterations there. 